videos. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how do you go about creating custom profile cards using Graph API. So when I say profile card, I mean, if you go to the Outlook, you see all these attributes here in the contact information. So there are a few attributes that you can add in here and remove using Graph API. Then there are also custom attributes that you can add in here and it would show up. So if we see the Graph API for it, um, we have this one. It says configure profile card properties. Now this one is using PowerShell, but if we scroll up, we'll get the corresponding Graph API. So this is the API endpoint that we'll be using. And this is the kind of body that we have that that needs in order to update those. So let's get started. So here I am on the Graph Explorer. And if you see the Graph API permission that we need is profile card properties, admin slash people slash profile cards. Um, We'll be doing a post request since we'll be adding a new property in there and then this is the request body that we'll need now coming to the permission the permission that we're going to need uh, to do this is it must be here somewhere yeah so people settings dot read all is the permission that we need to read the profile card properties using graph api and then in order to do the write operation we'll have people settings dot read write all so two things you need to keep in mind uh, one that this is only available to do it via global administrator and second thing uh, this is only available for the delegated permissions so this you won't be able to do this using application permissions so without further ado let's get started with the api endpoint so i'm already logged in with the global administrator i have the required endpoint set in i have the post request and i've already given the permission i'll just go ahead and click on post it says conflict with the existing entry because I've already done this and it's there on my profile. If you see, it's Elias. So it's already there on my profile. Let's look at the other attributes that we have. Um, I'll be doing facts. Let's try facts. Updated and there you go. So facts property has been added to the profile card. So I think we won't be able to see it right away because it takes about 24 hours. To update that property in the profile card but let's hope for the best and see if we can find it um no nope. we cannot find it yet but yeah those changes will be reflected after 24 hours so i hope you like this video this was a quick short tutorial on how to update your profile card properties do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions on this and do subscribe to the channel do let me know if you need any other videos related to graph api and i'll be happy to cover it thank you adios bye, -bye.